So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, we're going over the top 20 free streaming applications for 2023. Now these applications are gonna be completely free, completely legal, can be found in the app store and of course no sign up is required for any one of these applications so this video i'm going to go all the way from 20 all the way to one one being the best if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell let's go So number 20 is gonna be Film Ride. Now, Film Ride's been around since 2018 and it's very popular because it does have a lot of content. So here's the main screen and you can see we have some of the featured movies right there. And let's just scroll through so you can kind of get an idea of what you're gonna get. You can see we have some Nicolas Cage, Morgan Freeman, keep scrolling, they have Blitz. Further down, they have the feature TV. So you can see we have Hell's Kitchen, Life on Death Roll, FBI Files. And you can scroll all the way. We have our popular categories. So we have Western, we have True Crime, Action, British TV. We have Black, Classic TV, Horror, Sci-Fi, Comedy. Further down, we have Discover. We have Exciting Action. So that'd be your dedicated action area. You have your Behind the Badge. So mostly law enforcement, women, young guns, True Crime, Western TV again. So like I said, just a bunch of content. But further down, we have the TV. So this is going to have your TV series for the most part. Uh, we have a movie section, new arrivals right there, recently added, and we also had a dedicated search area. So number 19 is going to be free form. And again, this is going to have a, a decent amount of content on here. Um, this is actually a segment or division of the Disney company. So we're going to see a lot of cartoons on here, different things for kids. And we're going to have something for the, and we're going to have some for the adults as well. So scroll down, you can see we have live now. You can see we have Mr. Popper's Penguins. Never heard of it, even though it has Jim Carrey. Um, perform original series, throwback, back to school. Some of these are going to be locked. Others are going to be free, as we can see there. We also have an option for my list. When you scroll all the way up top, you do have the option to browse. All right, so you have a popular area. You can see we have Matilda in there. We have throwback. Current shows. Unlocked shows. Movies and special. And if you go all the way down, you're gonna have your A through Z options. So Freeform doesn't have an extensively large library, but it does have very simple and definitely deserve a look. So number 18 is going to be Urban Flix Television. And um, just by the name of it, you can kind of know what you expect. So you're going to have a lot of black entertainment on here. And we're going to have a decent amount of reality shows on here. So on the catalog, you can see we have some new releases up top. Scroll down, you have Coming Soon. You have Series, so Broken Seas. You have Hoax Phase. <laughs> Um, in the shadows, have some stand-up comedy there. And we just scroll down, we have top series, top movies, drama, strive, we have Becky, um, romance, as well as comedy. All right, you do have a search option and uh, you do have the option to add content to your favorite. Library is not too large, but they do have a decent amount of content that's worth taking a look. So number 17 is going to be CW and we've all heard of the CW network, but a lot of people don't know that they do have a lot of content available via the application that's completely free. No sign up required. So um, nice looking user interface. Up top, you can see you have home, you have your shows, movies, and you do have Live Golf Live. That's also part of the CW Networks. So scrolling over, you can see we have decent content on here. Not all old, but they do have a nice mixture. That's definitely worth checking out. You have new on CW. And I think they really did a good job with this UI. I recommend it for you, which not sure how they came up with this list. Shows from A to Z. They have Crime and Justice, latest episodes, dramas. They have uh, Game Time, which is gonna basically gonna be your sports shows, movies, and so on and so forth. Movies A to Z. They have thrillers, reality TV, unscripted, sci-fi, expiring soon. So again, CW Network does have an application out there, and all the content on here is completely free. Up top, like I said, you can kind of narrow it down by show and you can't do the same for movies so definitely worth checking out let me know what you guys think of the cw application so number 16 is going to be popcorn flicks and again 
Uh, this has been around for a while now. Um, I remember talking about Popcorn Flicks probably five years ago, and it was always a popular free streaming application out there. So we're on the main page. We do have movies and we do have series as well. Um, scroll down on the main page. You can see we have Legends of Action. All right, so we're going to have some of the action movies, John claude Van Damme. I was going to have Sylvester Stallone, you can see there. And just scrolling over, you can see there's a ton of content on here, guys. Nicolas Cage there, Wesley Snipes. Uh, further down, you want popcorn flicks. All right, so decent amount of content. We have trending, we have anime. So pretty cool that they have a dedicated anime section. Fandom favorites as well. Creature features, midnight movies. Send in the troops, so to your military area. All right. Leave the parents at home, martial arts, exclusives, featuring family. We also have a dedicated Western area. Crime time. Trejo de Yo. Don't know what that means. Sci-fi, comedy series, thriller instincts, adventure hour. Again, this application has a ton of content and I think this is definitely worth a download. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you ever used popcorn flicks before. Number 15 is going to be Red Bull TV. Now, Red Bull TV has programming that focuses on live event shows, sports, music, culture, and lifestyle. So the reason I like Red Bull TV because it focuses on some of those extreme sports that a lot of guys like to just relax and just watch happen. So we have extreme biking, adventure, we have motor, we have surfing gaming, dance, winter. At the main menu, you are gonna have your live channel and you can scroll down to kind of see what else is available. So a lot of cool content on here. Like I said, for me, I like sometimes just sitting back, just binging out on, just appreciate being on the couch while they taking all the rest. So that's why it's number 15, Red Bull TV. Go ahead and check it out. Should be available in your app store. Now, number 14 is going to be Haystack News. Now, Haystack, I've been using for probably about six years now. Haystack is a free ad-supported streaming service for your local and your international news, and it's available on most of your streaming platforms. So, reason I like this is because, really, it just captures your location. It captures what's going on in your area. You can see I am in Central Florida in the Orlando area. I do have headline news. I have local, Fox 35. WFTV9, we also have WESH, Fox 13. Um, but if you wanted to go international, you do have that as well. So you do have CNN, all right? You do have your live area, UK and Russia, weather, international, entertainment again. And on any one of these that you click, so for instance, if I went to international, scroll over to the top, you can see that we have the Olympic unveil of the torch. We do have Israel wildfires in Greece. So just news that's really available for any area that you want to look into. Easy to use, easy to get up and running, no sign up required. However, you can sign in to keep track, keep progress of what you're watching. So one of those platforms that I really enjoy of course, you can go full screen as you can see there, but one of those platforms I just really enjoyed and I think if you're looking for a news app, this should be towards the top of your list. So number 13 is going to be another one of those applications that's going to give you live, local, free content and this is the view it application now again big fan of view it use it for a while and view it is just going to have a little bit of everything that you can enjoy. So. Home location, you can see we do have some news up there. We do have nearby channels. So again, taking advantage of your local area. You have Orlando, Tampa Bay, Gainesville, Sarasota. So you do have different areas. And uh, within the view of the application, you can go in and set up your city, set up what interests you, and that way it can be tailored to your need. Further down, you do have a live area, guys. Click on that. It's gonna jump right into whatever you wanna watch. All right, so you have the option for all channels, but you can go to your local channels. All right, and local, you can see a bunch of the news channels there. Really well put together application, in my opinion. You do have a TV show section as well. Again, you can go to all shows. You can go directly to sports. You have documentaries, entertainment, food, drink, just a ton of content there. You have your events, and you do have the option to search. So just a lot built in. Uh, only downside about Viewit, it does take some getting used to with the user interface, but once you get it packed down, just a ton of content to explore. So number 12 is going to be Movie Arc. So uh, a Movie Arc is fairly new on the scene. Um, first launch, of course, you're going to need to accept the terms and conditions. But once you get into the application, guys, 
a really nice job the app looks modern well put together and um if you're someone who's looking for just free content ad supported of course this is a nice application to check out so up top you're gonna have your movies area you have your midnight screams tv shows categories so click on categories let's see what's available all right we got trending in action trending in comedy trending in thrillers horror you have um new categories so you have war supernatural movies about weddings so just a ton of content as you can see uh, you also have documentary live tv as well as well as your new content so movie arc is an application that I, i'm gonna do a full overview on like i said new up and coming but just a ton of content to explore so number 11 is gonna be just watch and just watch has been around for a while definitely a application that you want to add to your arsenal so how just watch work for anyone that doesn't know just watch basically has all the movies all the tv shows everything built into one user interface this includes newer release movies and tv shows as well once you're in the application you can go to whatever you want to watch and it can be one of the newest movies let's try out avatar go ahead and search all right so there we go all right, so you can see we have the newest avatar there but what's cool about this is uh it doesn't let you watch the content here however it does redirect you to a place that you can watch it so consider this compiling all the movies and tv shows that you can think of uh into one library and then when you want to watch it it'll take you to whatever um application um, you want to watch it so you can see this is available for hbo max so ava is going to be available on netflix um this one is going to be available on HBO Max as well. So again, just consider this as a library for all of your, your movies and TV shows that pretty much redirects it to the streaming service that you want to watch it on or you can watch it on or that it's available on. So again, this doesn't necessarily fit the mold of the other streaming applications, but I do think that this is very important. It does have a place. I believe that this belongs on this list. So number 10 is gonna be Fawesome TV. Now Fawesome is gonna have over 10,000 movies and TV shows, 25 different genres. This includes Horror Family and over 250 free channels. And of course, no subscription is required for this. Uh, I am on my Fire Stick right now, but like I said, if you search in the google play store you should be able to find this as well uh, this application is very simple easy to navigate as you can see there on the left you got your home your tv shows recently added collections so that's where you're going to see your different genres so you got your horror your thriller you also can browse by your actor your actresses your audience and if you scroll down even more you can go by alphabetical order or if you want to go by year sci-fi is below that so just a lot of different categories to choose from like i said this is definitely a must have in my opinion especially via cord cutter this is one to add to the list so number nine is going to be crackle or formerly known as sony crackle or even formerly known as grouper now this app of course has been around for a while just a ton of content sony is the driving engine behind this so you are going to see a lot of quality content so just look at some in the spotlight you can see we have everyone hates chris we have atlantis benson scroll down you see popular tv you have dr ken right there tour of duty taboo scroll through you can just see a ton of content that's available you have popular movies action british programs comfort tv classics cage against the machine that's a nicholas cage uh, area you have your western swamp monsters black entertainment mystery dramas thrillers mafia mix summer blockbusters like i said this is a spot if you want to just find good movies find tv shows that you're familiar with this is a great application to have again this is uh, powered and driven by sony so you are going to have a lot of quality content on here uh, below that you can see every tv shows area or adventures anime biography again just a lot of content in here and uh definitely worth checking out this is why this this is why this is number nine this is crackle formerly known as sony crackle and again formerly known as grouper whatever you use youtube for just know that there's going to be content out there that you can watch uh youtube does provide shows um not only shows that you can rent but shows that you can browse for free with commercial they also have different categories they have live so if we go down to more uh if you go over you can see your you have a dedicated live area mostly going to be news you're going to have some live streaming stuff like you see there with the trial you're going to have nbc so live area is going to have a lot going on and if you go to movies and tv they have a lot that you can go to so first you're going to have top selling so yes that's fine and dandy but we're looking for the free stuff right go down a little bit more you can see they have free 
with ads so this is where you want to live guys so scroll through a lot of content on here and this will work essentially just like it would if you're watching a youtube video when you see the ads come up every couple of minutes or so so that's going to be kind of the same deal so free area there free primetime movies yeah free primetime shows free movies for you again one of the most popular search engines just search for what you want to watch and you'll find something that fits that category so that's why it's on my list youtube in my opinion has to be in everyone's top 10 <laughs> um, just because it's so large and it's going to have a little bit for everyone so number seven is going to be sling and uh probably thinking sling is a paid service and that is true but also sling has a free area that's available so it's called sling free stream and they made this available a couple months ago and what this is is just like we've seen on some of the previous applications where you have ad supported content that sling provides so if you launch the application like you can see here if you go down and you look all the way to the bottom right this is where you get into free stream now free stream is also available on the web browser but you can simply launch it from your application if you're using a streaming device so click on the free area and it's going to bring you right into the sling user interface now again i did a full dedicated video on this i definitely recommend checking that out just how to access this different ways to get into it but this is going to have a lot of content guys this is going to be a lot of live television so home you can kind of see what's trending up top All right, go down, you have your recommendations there. And if you go to the guide area, this puts you into a nice cable-like user interface. And these are gonna be live channels. So if I wanted to watch CBS News, I can simply click on it and it will go ahead and start. Let me just back out. So this is gonna be the same. And just scrolling through, you can see there are dozens of channels. TV guide is gonna be well put together. You can scroll ahead to your time slot. And again, this works really well in my opinion. So you're not gonna have those premium channels. You're not gonna have ESPN. You're not gonna have TNT. But if you can see here, you have some Comedy Central there. You're gonna have some news channel. You have Fail Army, AFTV, which is popular. So again, um, just a nice addition in my opinion. This isn't gonna solve all your entertainment needs, but this is a nice one to add to the collection uh, if you're a cord cutter download sling check out the free section and let me know what you think so that was number seven sling free stream so number six and this is actually a recent addition this is owned by amazon this is called freebie as you can see there no sign up required it does have an amazon look to it so up top you're gonna have some of your ads that you can go through but if you scroll down you can see some of your different categories so you have um, popular channels, Amazon Originals, popular movies, recently added, music, you have documentaries, comedy TV, animated, watching something new. So just a lot of content that's available for you. I uh, do have the option to add uh, to your list as well. But like I said, this is a well put together user interface. Uh, reminds me of Prime Videos, but again, this is owned by Amazon. So wouldn't expect anything less. So that's why freebies number six and I did do a full video on this as well. Definitely worth checking out. So number five for me is gonna be Plex. Now when a lot of people think about Plex, they think about having the ability to add your own media, set up your library, add your own content, whether it be movies, TV shows, photos, or adding your music and home videos. But Plex has evolved to include a lot more than just that. Plex has a lot of on-demand shows, on-demand movies, as well as live TV. So if you haven't checked out Plex in a while, definitely recommend go ahead and do that. There's no need to set up an account. You can browse free, get into the live TV section, get into the video on demand section. And like I said, they do have a lot to offer. Now this of course is gonna be a ad supported free television, which is becoming popular as of the past couple of years. Yes, they're free. However, you do have to sit through occasional ad or two. So this is where a lot of the free content is going. So Plex is number five, go ahead and check it out. So number four is gonna be Zumo TV. Now Zumo, is a nice application well put together nice transparent menus and it does have a lot of content to offer so with zumo you are going to have a nice sleek user interface transparent menus you have a dedicated areas where you can browse through your different content your video on demand your live tv your movies your tv shows and a lot more categories for you to check out so i have reviewed zumo over the past couple years a couple of times and every time i go back to it, it looks like they're adding something new so 
this definitely should be on your radar if you haven't checked it out or at least do yourself a favor install it and see what it entails number three in my opinion is tubi tv you know tubi has been around for a while and this is owned by fox so this is a legitimate service like the rest on this list again this is going to be ad supported television so tubi is going to offer loads of content including your live tv even some live sports as well as your movies and tv shows now remember that this is owned by fox so a lot of those fox content you are going to find in tubi user interface is one of the best in the business and this has been one of my go-to applications over the past couple years and like any other on the list this is going to be uh, free to install no sign up required download it on your respective device and go ahead and check it out these are going to have cable tv style menus guides and again ad supported 100 percent free and 100 percent legal on to number two and number two for me is pluto tv and that's all i have to say pluto is probably the most popular free streaming applications that's currently available millions and millions of people actually own this application stream this application on a regular basis and this app is well worth it a lot to offer don't have to get into the beans but you have free movies you have free tv shows you're gonna have video on demand you're gonna have some live sports some 24-hour channels hundreds of channels video on demand movies tv shows and if you're a cord cutter this is definitely a must have in my opinion now pluto has been around for a long time it is owned by paramount plus now again this is trending towards a free ad supported television that we've all become accustomed to so definitely check out pluto tv if you don't know about pluto tv go to your app store download it now let me know what you think in the comment section so before we jump into number one uh, let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a list going from 10 all the way through 5 or from 20 to 10 or whatever uh, just to include some of those applications that I wasn't able to include in, in this ranking so number one in my opinion is the Roku channel now when I think a Roku channel you probably thinking this is only available on Roku devices and it's not this can be downloaded on your fire tv stick um, i do have it on my fire stick works well the roku channel in my opinion is probably one of the largest libraries for free content that's currently available on any streaming device tons of movies tons of tv shows video on demand live sports uh 24-hour channels just anything that you can think of roku channel is going to have it so definitely check out the roku channel if you didn't know about it if you don't own a roku device you should be able to download it on your fire tv stick use it like you would on a roku device and this is an amazing application to have so with these 10 applications mentioned let me know in the comment section if i got this list correct let me know which apps you would substitute in the top 10 and also let me know if you want me to do another video showing you the top 20 free streaming applications because believe it or not there's a lot more out there that's available of course if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one